so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about 90 Day Fiance couple, Natalie and Mike, are they still together after major differences? If you watched this week's episode of 90 Day Fiance, you will know it was the best episode of the entire season, okay? The best. But not because of anything the couples did. Don't think that. No, 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 no. It was the best because it's almost over. Only a couple more episodes. The torture's almost over, people. This was the worst season in the history of 90 Day Fiance, okay? The worst. It was so bad I almost turned to self-mutilation. I mean, can you imagine just sitting on the couch wondering, I wonder what it would be like to break a wine bottle over my own head. I mean, it couldn't hurt that bad. This is this is what I was resorting to, okay? That's how bad this season was. I mean, the only thing that was just a little bit enjoyable to me this season would be the Mike and Natalie storyline when he went to the Ukraine and she was acting like the biggest three-year-old I ever seen. I mean, she was throwing tantrums every five minutes. I mean, I thought she was going to go lay in the middle of the street and start kicking and screaming, you know, like every other three-year-old. She was ridiculous, people. And I was happy about that. I was like, okay, listen, these two do not need to be together. If she keeps acting like this, he's going to dump her for sure. And then there was the fact that she wanted kids and he did. And I was like, yes, now we're getting somewhere, people. And then the biggie was she believed in God and he did it. I was like, yes, it's over, people. Especially, did you guys see the way that he left the Ukraine? Head all low teary-eyed. I was like, yes. I mean, don't act like you guys don't know any couples in real life that are your friends, but you're thinking, I sure can't wait till they break up. This is what I was going through. I'm just honest enough to talk about it. I was so excited, people. Ecstatic when he went home. Did you see how sad he was when he was making the pancakes in the kitchen? He was even stirring depressed. He was like, uh, and I was like, yes, you know, you'll be okay in a couple of months. You'll wake up and realize this was the best thing ever for you. <sighs> so that's why I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I hate to report what I'm going to report today, which is <sighs> their status. Did this couple stay together? Unfortunately, it looks like they did. I mean, where is my wine bottle when I need it? I'm about to break my own wine bottle over my own head because this is so ridiculous. Okay, so these two were spotted at the airport <sighs> in the U.S. <sighs> now, this is bad news. Like, what part of this relationship isn't going to work that Mike doesn't get? Okay, I mean... Did you see the way she was acting and he still didn't get a clue? Now, I'm not going to call him the dumbest person on the planet, but I might say he's the runner-up. I mean, come on, really? Is he really going to marry this chick? What's wrong with him? Oh, my God. Uh, he deserves everything that he gets, people. This is the dumbest runner-up. Because, you know, I don't want to hurt his feeling calling him the dumbest person on the planet. But he's the dumbest runner-up on the planet. I will tell you that. Now, like my grandmother said, in every bad situation, there's always a glimmer of hope. So don't get too down. So here's a glimmer of hope in all of this. We still have Sinjin and Tanya. I mean, there's still plenty of time for these two to break up. I mean, after all, on this week's episode, she did tell him to his face. She didn't even say it behind his back that you're not my soulmate. So, you know, there's still a little glimmer of hope in there because this entire cast, I want them to break up. So I'm putting all my hope into the Tanya and Sinjin basket because, you know, she already left him, went to go become some root doctor in the jungle. I mean, he still didn't catch on. And now she tells him to his face, yeah, you know, you're all right. You're not my soulmate or anything like that. And so did you see the look on his face? Let's just all cross our fingers people let's keep hope alive keep hope alive so that's all the 90 day fiance news i have for you today what i want to know today in my comment section is what do you guys think about the natalie and mike relationship and do you think he's going to marry her i mean with all of those warning signs just buzzing around his head is he still going to marry her also if you like this video don't forget to click that like button if you haven't already subscribed go ahead and do that and i'll see you guys next time bye Oh, <laughs>